This is true buzz That Mary J Now we ain't new to this For my stoners And for my cannabis enthusiasts Talking edibles And bringing comedy Let's get it Time to pass it to the left And we can have a smoke session Hey, yeah True love for my true buzz Light it up and I'm on it This vibe take me way back Screaming I got five on it In the cut of sativa Anything that you need Break it down like the weed This is True Buzz TV True Buzz, I'm a stoner, I'm a smoker It's a hobby, it's a lifestyle What's up, What's up Jack? Good to see you, brother What's up, guys? What's up? How you doing today? Word Word <laughs> <laughs> So just went to one of my accounts, Trees Echo Park You know, where we sell Cohen. Of course, I gotta pick up a little Co on there We got the Create and the Delight But more importantly, I picked up these products you know, I don't know if it's more important, but I picked up these products and I just wanted to get your first impression. And then okay. we're going to do our deep dive, can of curious and then the can of sewer takes, nice. if you will. Okay. I'm almost, I guess I am a can of sewer. I definitely consider my, I'm like. You're hey. 100% a can of sewer. <laughs> <laughs> so quick, quick little um, hot takes on all these. For okay. You. Okay. I want your hot takes. Like 30 seconds or less kind of yeah, thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keith, 100 milligram fruit punch. And I haven't seen any of these, to be honest with you. Okay. Keith. Okay, 100 milligrams. Number one, this is dense. I mean, this, this is like heavy. I mean, you feel like you're getting your money's worth. First thing I'm thinking, fantastic artwork. I mean, really, really eye intriguing. Let's see, right off the bat, just looking at the front, I don't know if it's indica based or sativa. I think the market's getting a little away from that, but don't know just from looking at it, that'd be something. That's my first initial. Is this super, super cool? Wish I knew a little bit more information right away. Word. Yeah. Now we got the Sumo Chips. Did a super cool event with them recently. And uh, what do you think of these? So these are just basically like snack, tasty snacks as they put on there. Little one munchies. One says crunchers and one says... Tor so these are like tortilla chips, um, essentially. Well, at least this one is, mini tortilla That wraps. one is for sure. I've had these. Okay. Um, I have the other cheese puffs over there. I don't know what a cruncher is. Maybe that is a cheese puff. We'll open it up later and find okay, out. Okay, cool. All right, so let's take a look. Sumo, number one, I think the branding is actually fantastic. Um, next thing I will say is me being someone who's on the lower consumer end of things, I have major shout out for the 10 milligrams per unit dose. Because I'll be honest, for me, someone who doesn't consume cannabis every day or you know, every two days or every three days, definitely on more of the low dose side, I love the ability to walk in and grab a single dose if that's what I'm looking for. And then we got... Paps Blue Ribbon, high seltzers. No way. I had no idea. Honestly, I had no idea PBR was in the cannabis game. Okay, so my first reaction to this is, I mean, it, I want to try it. It just looks tasty. Honestly, I like the mark, and I love how simple and clean it is. Obviously, PBR, that's a name everybody knows. Um, initial reaction, number one, similar to Sumo, I'm not going to lie. I got a thumbs up just for 10 milligrams per unit dose. To me, once again, I'm just not the person who's going to smoke an entire blunt to the face by myself and then go to work. I'm just not that kind of cannabis consumer. Once again, I'm the can of curious, right? But I love the ability to go to the pool, bring this super non-discreet, and only have 10 milligrams. I know exactly what I'm getting. Just looking at the front, though, I have no idea if it's sativa-based or indica-based. Maybe it says it on the back. Um, we've mentioned Koan. We've talked about that a fair I'm amount. I'm a fan of Koan. No. I'm a fan of Koan. I really like Koan. I'm not going to lie. I like the, the yellow box Create. I'm a big fan of that one. That's the, that's the Create one, yeah. right? Yeah. I actually like that because I love to make content, you know, day trading, you know, creativity kind of stuff. I actually really enjoy that in the morning on an empty stomach before getting on the charts and doing day trading. It just kind of gets you dialed in on a creative mode. Now, this is going to be really funny to see a reaction on okay. this. Okay. Friendly Farms FSO, full spectrum oil. Thank you for saying that because I had no idea what FSO meant. So, oh, I guess it says it right there. This is a thousand milligrams. Uh, yeah. In this is a thousand yeah. milligrams. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> 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 Me being a low dose consumer, I mean, it's interesting because if I'm drinking like a drink or a koan specifically, I would. For me personally, I'd very, very, very rarely go over 30 milligrams. That's just me personally. I could do more, but generally speaking, 30 is usually the high end of where, like kind of my sweet spot. You know, it's like kind of like alcohol. Yeah, you can get super drunk, but most people don't like to be truly that like messed up drunk. Everyone likes that nice buzz, right? For me, my good buzz, like really nice buzz is probably 30 milligrams. So a thousand milligrams, this is for real. How much is this? I'm <laughs> um, like... 
pre-tax, I think 35 bucks. And then we've talked about it before. This is basically just a CBD joint with like a little bit of THC in there from Glasshouse Farms. And how much THC is in there? It's like 0.8 or something. Basically one milligram or so. 0.95 0.95 percent so a little less than one percent thc which is okay, your... that's cool yeah i mean my first reaction is this is awesome for real because you know last year i spent a good amount of time in colorado and almost every dispensary i went to when you look at their pre-roll list right at the top i'm not lying we're five dollar cbdjs and that's what i got over half the time for my my pre-rolls huh? in, well that's in, why i got it for you bro i appreciate it well the reason why i say that is because my first reaction is once again i'm definitely on the lower end of a consumer but I still want to smoke a whole J. I mean, it's not back in high school where, you know, everything is so much less potent than it is now. You know, you go back 15 years. You could, I could smoke a whole J and rock and roll going to school, right? You know, go to work or whatever. Nowadays, you know, smoking a whole J to myself, dude, I'm doing that at home. I'm not getting in the car and driving, no, <laughs> nothing. It's just so potent now. But, I, you know, you miss that nostalgia of smoking a J and you yeah. know, bumping some Tom Petty well, or something. I'm, I'm really curious what it tastes like, to be honest with you. Yeah, so that's my first reaction is this is awesome to see. I think there's actually a much, personally, I think there's a lot bigger, you know, space, like market for this than most people would probably bet. Because I there's a lot of people like me. When I've gotten dispensaries, I never really see this stuff, so I don't really go that much. If I knew there was one place where I could go and buy like a legit CBDJ for five, six bucks like I could in Denver, dude, I was going there like once a week. Here, I haven't been to the dispensary in like 90 days. That's an interesting point I'm about just knowing what they, that they, just knowing they don't hold that. Yeah. Typically. Most, like, no, most dispensaries don't have a yeah, lot of Yeah, I just, I, th- I think there's a bigger market for that than people realize, personally. For sure, for sure. And lastly here. Let's go. What do we we got? got the Heisenstein Cross Joint. Oh, let's What's your go. opinion here? What's your first impression of this? First thing is, this is a party trick. My first yep. thought is, if, You're I'm, 100% right. if I'm rolling to a party and there's 10 people that I know we're going to smoke at some point, I'm bringing this bad boy. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm not going to. I actually didn't know you could buy this. I uh, had no clue. They came out a while ago. Uh, probably a year ago, I saw them. I met one Dang, of the reps. This and they, is super cool. I guess they hand roll them all, I, th- I believe, because it kind of got to make the cross. Um, yeah, no kidding, huh? So, yeah, I'm my excited to talk is... about this. Yeah, see what it is, because that's my first impression, too. It's like party kind of like, yes. hey, I hate to say it, but honestly kind of gimmicky. You know, it's definitely a little gimmicky, but I definitely think there's a space for it. So that's kind of like a wrap of what I grabbed. But um, yeah, definitely check out Trees Echo Park, man. Um, okay. Maybe we even go soon because it's right down the road. You're saying it's, it's physically in Echo Park, obviously. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's literally f- five minutes like straight down the street. And here. it's called Trees. Trees of Echo Park. Trees of and, Echo Park. Yeah. Okay. And it's actually interesting. They have a little pizza joint right next door that's actually solid. And if you buy something from Trees, uh, I just say Trees for sure. But if you buy something from Trees Echo Park, and they give you your receipt, you get like 10% off a slice of pizza or you get some deal, but there, it's it's dope nice. because the pizza place is right there. It's got it's just a nice dope neighborhood spot, yeah. really friendly service and okay. a nice selection of products, man. Dude, this is super cool. On, I'll be totally honest, I've never bought any of these things personally. I didn't know 90% of this stuff even existed, to be honest. I think I think it's super cool. Well, time to dive a little deeper for some Dude, other videos, let's man. Let's go. Let's, let's do, do it, it, man. Let's do it, bro. Cool. Cheers. Yeah.